Hello everybody and welcome to the recap for the 17th of the 10th TJPW Wrestling of My Mind show. The very last show for Wrestle Princess. First up we have our opening matchup, Mirai, Senna and Mocha in a triple threat match. This match wasn't very bad but it really felt like they were going for something that was just a tiny bit above their ability. They were, you know, trying to do all the triple threat spots you'd expect from... Let's say, uh, back in the day, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Chris Daniels, that kind of match. But a lot of the time, it just felt kind of awkward and stunted. Uh, I'm not going to be too critical, though, because, I mean, this is a group of people who have about two and a half years' experience between them. Uh, some even less than that, really. Like, significantly less. So, you know, they were ambitious with what they tried to do with this match. It didn't quite come off, but it's fine. Uh, Mirai ended up winning the match with... A huge lariat, which got her the victory in the end over Morka. Your next matchup is Maki O, Miyu Yamashita, and Raku against Haruna Neko, Shoko Nakajima, and Hyper Masao. This match really encapsulates what I love about Tokyo Joshi Pro in that it has everything. It has comedy, has fun spots, lots of high work rate, has those great character details that you go into for. And it all blends together to create just a wonderful match. I had an absolute blast watching this match. Uh, I've shown it to a bunch of people who didn't watch wrestling that much in the hopes that they will uh, get more into Tokyo George Pro because of it. Obviously, the most obvious spot about this match is Hyper Masao taping up Miyu Yamashita's legs to stop her from kicking people, which is great because not only is it funny to see it hopping around, not only is it funny that she's tied up in it, it makes sense from a logical standpoint that you do not want to get kicked by Mia Yamashita. It sucks. Everyone knows it sucks. And so when you see that in a spot, you really appreciate it in the moment. And then there's the payoff that she does end up escaping and kicking a bunch of people. Uh, so that was probably the best spot of the match. The second best spot has to be uh, Miyu and Maki doing their spot together, but Raku is asleep on top of... The person taking it, which really got a laugh out of me. Uh, Maki had to very politely ask for her to move aside. So yeah, just awesome match. I believe the finish was Maki Ito getting Haruna Neko in the Ito Deluxe. And Haruna tapping out. Your next matchup is Hikari Noah versus Pom in the first round of the International Princess Tournament. This was a very solid match uh, all the way through, but the finish was really, really good. Overall, uh, it didn't really surprise me in any way, but I did enjoy it. The finish of the match was... The finish of the match was Hikari hitting Pom with an incredible looking Uranage. Uh, she's really improved it over these last couple of months, and I appreciate it a great deal. Next up is Kamiyu versus Suzume. Kamiyu... Uh, Early on in the match, rolled to the outside and uh, clutched her finger. Uh, the one she broke and that made her miss some matches recently. Suzume came out to check on her, like the good little bee she is, and uh, Kamiyu took control of the match. So the story of this match was uh, Kamiyu playing the out and out heel, while Suzume was uh, the good natured baby face that we all know and love. It was a good match, it was very solid. Kamiyu hit probably her best dropkick ever, which Suzume sold like death. Really love that. And the finisher of the match was Kamiyu hitting the Fair Masa for the win. And next up is your main event, which is smashing together the two title matches of Wrestle Princess, outside of obviously the International Princess one. So you have Yuka and Daydream, Rika, Tatsumi, and Miyu, versus the Bakaresi sisters, Nodoka and Yuki Eno as well as Mizuki, in a 2 out of 3 falls match. This was, as you would expect, an excellent match, with everyone involved being of a really high calibre. Everyone got a lot of shine in, there was a really incredible extended period uh, between Mizuki and Yuka, which led to Yuka getting the first fall with the spinny death. After that, the Bakaretsu sisters got a pinfall on Daydream, which was followed by... Then Rika hit Nadoka with the rear view for the win for the champions. After the match, there was an extended uh, call up period where everyone said something that they were going to do at Wrestle Princess. It was a really sweet moment. 
But overall, it was just a great show. If everyone involved made everyone look great. And uh, on a Wrestle Princess, which is still kind of a long time away.